Hi, it's Mr. Colley, and in this video, we're going to use our micro bit to hide and unlock a secret message. If you look along the bottom of the micro bit, and you can see it in this picture here, you'll see these little this little gold numbered strip, and you've got zero, one, and two. These are called pins, input and output pins, and you can connect all sorts of other sensors or output devices like speakers and so on up to those using crocodile clips or anything else that conducts electricity really. But what we're going to do is we're going to pinch those pins with our fingertips and a certain number of times to tap in the secret code. If we get the code right, that unlocks our secret message. So on we go, we're going to create some code. And as usual, I'm going to use the blocks editor with new project. And when it pops up, I'll rename it. So I'm probably going to call it secret code or secret message, something like that. <laughs> Here we go. So let's call it the secret message. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to create some variables. So if I go to variables here, I can drag set item in. And I'm just going to duplicate that six times because I need six variables. There we go. And now I'm going to rename these so that they are more meaningful than just item. So my first variable I'm going to rename and I'm going to call it code one. Now next, that renames them all to code one. So next I need to do new variable and this one's going to be code two. Same again, new variable code three. Those three variables are going to be used to store how many times you need to pinch each pin to unlock the secret message. And we also need some variables to store how many times each pin has actually been pinched. So we can compare how many times the pin has been pinched to how many times it needs to be to be the correct code. So I'm going to call this one, new variable again, pin touch one. And I'm just going to go through these and do the same thing. New variable pin touch two. Same again. Okay, there we go. So now I can set my variables up. At the start of my program, these pins won't have been touched at all, so I can go to number, or maths rather, and I can set all of those to zero. Pop those in. And then I can, by duplicating this again, just pop the numbers in up here. And I can change these to how many times I want these each pin to be touched, to, or pinched rather, to unlock the secret message. So let's have the first pin, pin 0, we're going to have two pinches. The second pin, we're going to have three. And the last pin will have, I don't know, like that. So now we've set up our code. This is the code you need to unlock the um, message. This is how many times each pin has actually been touched at the start of the program. So what we're going to do now is basically get our code to record how many times you pinch each pin. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enter the secret code. So I need some input. On pin 0 pressed, I need to get some variable action and set pin touch. In fact, I've called these wrong. I should have called them 0, 1, and 2, to be honest. Let's just rename it. Pin touch 0 because the pins are 0, 1 and 2, so it makes more sense. Rename and rename. There we are. So when I press the pin 0, I want to set my pin touch 0 in fact I should have just done that, dropped it down, shouldn't I? <clears throat> to be 
well, I want to add 1 to whatever stored in pin touch 0. So at the moment it'd be 0 plus 1, so it would go up to 1. So I need maths, I need my add block. So set pin touch 0 to pin touch 0 plus 1. So I'm adding 1 to whatever number is saved in there. Um, I'm then going to pause, put a pause in. That's in basic, isn't it? Just so that it doesn't add lots and lots because I'm gripping it for a little bit longer. So a pause just allows it to, uh, gives it a little bit of a break. It doesn't record more than one pinch every time you pinch it. So that's how to do it for pin touch zero. I want you to try and do it for pin touch one and two as well. Um, and what we will do is we will do this. We'll add a bit extra. We'll add a bit extra in. So let's have let's do it on shake input on shake. I'm going to put a couple of ifs in there because we need to check to see if we've pinched the pin the correct number of times. So I need an equals in my maths, sorry, my logic. There we go. So if, get me variables, pin touch zero equals code zero, should be code, code one then. Should have renamed those as well, but never mind. If pin touch zero equals code one, and then basic show string and we'll have the first line of the secret message, so the. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another if in there, so you have to press button A after you've shaken it. So input if button A is pressed. There we go. So let's test it. Run. Wait for it to load. There we go. So let's do my pins. I need to do it two times to be correct. One, two. Give it a shake. Press button A. Hmm, nothing happens. Okay, just had a little think about that because it wasn't working properly. So what I've done is I've added a line in here to show number pin touch zero after you press the pin, just to check that it's recording correctly. So if I run my program now, there you go. So I've pressed it two times, so I'll shake it. Maybe you've got to do both at the same time. Let me get rid of that button A pressed if, like so. There we are. Run it again. <coughs> One, two. Give it a shake. There we go. It was that that was causing the problem. So I've got the first line of my message. So, to carry to carry on with your message you would need more of these for pin 1 and pin 2 and you would need more ifs inside this shake to check how many times pin touch pin 1 and 2 have been pinched so you've got the basics of the code there but your challenge is to try and finish it off for the rest of this off you go